Well, some of the other news that's been going around, and I think you might have touched on this a little bit, is there was a guy who says he was a crip and he was openly gay out of Texas. And he came out, he started doing interviews and, you know, started talking about, you know, what he, what his life was like, you know, what'd you think when you first seen that? Hmm. I have a, vi a, a, a wide range of thoughts. I'll start with my personal thoughts. Man, that's boo boo bullshit, man. We don't with nothing like that, man. Oh, my mama, mama, cuz. Who called cuz a crip? Where his cripping come from, cuz? What the hell's going on? There's some internet shit, man. Some out of town weird shit, man. This shit ain't real. Let me see. So my introduction to it, I went into it from a comedic understanding off top. This is a joke. This is some trolling, some funny shit. Then my mind says, hey, these days people can push adult sexual preferences upon minors. So I was like, ain't no telling what's really going on. This might be really something that people are trying to push and accept. I've also, in my own personal experiences growing up in the streets, being in gangbang functions, where I've seen people of his persuasion participate on a level we wouldn't expect. All these thoughts were going through my mind. However, once it became viral and I chose to speak on it, I spoke on it from the perspective of there was uh, certain people with online presence um, expressing that not only Brick Baby, but C-Mac deserved a DP. And if they homies from 60s and not only 60s, but from Five Fight Neighborhood did not take responsibility for DPing them, there was one particular Compton Crip blogger, I say Crip with quotation air marks because this particular individual has been witnessed on Instagram putting his blue rag into the trash can saying he's no longer a Crip, but I'm not going to be the Crip God to pass the final judgment on that. But years later, he, caused him, he called himself standing in judgment of two other Crips on the internet for having interviewed this said individual from Texas that's supposed to be uh, whatever you just described him as. And what happened was, because I know all three of the real Crips from out here involved, the Compton Cat, the nigga from 60s, the nigga from 5'5", five five, when the homie from 5'5 five five and the nigga from 6'0 interviewed the Texas Hoover alleged rainbow blue rag, um, the homie from 6-0 called me on FaceTime and asked me, was I cool with the cat from Compton? And I had just went out my way to mend the relationship that myself and the cat from Compton had that was negative for almost a half a decade or more. It was over a half a decade. That he initiated the negativity. And then here it is, I went out my way when I saw his presence upon the internet I went out my way to squash that. Just so happened, Brick Baby, a few weeks later, hit me saying, hey, ain't you cool with old boy from Compton? I'm like, yeah, it's crazy. If you asked me that two weeks ago, I couldn't have said that, but what's up? All he asked me, neighborhood to the neighborhood, all Brick Baby asked me was, can you pass him my number? I understood that recently the person from Compton has spoke in regards to the interview that C-Mac and Brick Baby did with the Texas dude. So I just know why he's asking me to pass the number. He didn't speak on why. He didn't go into no detail. He just asked me, ain't you cool with cuz? I'm like, yeah. He said, can you pass him my number? So I did just that. I passed the number to the Compton cat. And I said, the homie said, holler at him. He reacted, responded with a message saying, for sure, as soon as I get out to Dennis. Um, some hours later, that was like 11 a.m. that day. Around 4 p.m. that day, the Compton cat called me and gave me uh, basically a summary of his conversation with Brick Baby. And it was about Brick Baby's reaction to him getting disrespectful about the fact that him and C-Mac interviewed the Texas Hoover Rainbow Dude. So he just gave me the rundown. Mind you, this is a newly cool relationship that I initiated with the Compton Cat that 
He never showed interest in being cool with me. I just reached out after he was disrespectful years ago and we cool. So I'm thinking it's a very sensitive relationship that two real motherfuckers is going to respect to the end. So he's giving me his take on the whole interview. And I was honest with him. I said, I feel where you're coming from. I was like, but I think you went a little too far by saying they need to take Crip off their name. And that if they homies don't DP him, when you see him, you're going to do it. He readily agreed with me. And he was like, well, that's cool. Just go on your platform and say that. And that'll give me the alley-oop to go ahead and do a public apology. So I have receipts that, as they call them, text messages where I show Brick Baby, you ain't got to say nothing because going to apologize publicly. That was just my next communication. However, when I took it upon myself to go publicly and address the issues, I was a little more colorful with my message than I have been on the phone with the Compton Cat. I told him my sentiments, but when I went to the public and I kind of like acknowledged him, I used examples of why we can't stand in judgment of the homies based on some of his reputable homies from his hood that we all respect, that are rest in peace, that has certain tendencies. I said, if we're going to not take Crip off of that name, how can we skip over and take Crip off the homie's name just for having an interview? And that was my logic. And when I included that, I've learned through other individuals, he was offended to the point where instead of doing a public apology, he went the opposite way and tried to convince the internet that there was some type of dynamic between he and I other than peace. So um, my involvement in the homies interviewing old boy, that's where it landed me personally. I went through that whole roller coaster, just giving my opinion to someone personally, then them inviting me to share that same opinion on the internet, it turned into somewhat of the internet audience thinking that somebody is mad at me. Perhaps he is mad at me, but I'm not mad at him though. I don't know if I switched the subject or if I answered the question correctly or not. My bad, two C's. And he from two C's. Yo name two C's and cuz claim two C's. <laughs> uh, no, no, that was good. Yeah, a Brick Baby, Crip Mac. Sorry. Nightbud to the nightbuds. To my no, homie Brick what? Baby and my homie C Mac. Did the interview on No Jumper with him. You know, and you know as much was, as I support the decision that the homies made, I would not have conducted the same interview as an individual, just to be clear. 